I think the billing says almost all of it, Alan, doesn't it? The Emirates FA Cup. It's brilliant to be here. It certainly is. Still got a magic attached to it, this competition. And uh, I've got a feeling we're going to get a good game. Sheffield Wednesday today against Sunderland. Here's Sheffield Wednesday's lineup. Number 28, Joe Wildsmith. Number 16, Liam Palmer. Number 15, Tom. Let's look at Sheffield Wednesday and the list of their players here. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. What we've got here, Alan, is a side that don't concede many goals and perhaps they don't score enough. That's down to the overall philosophy of the coach. Yeah, they don't uh, commit too many men forward. They work incredibly hard, I know, on the training ground in the week, on organisation, who's where at any given time, and it does work. Sheffield Wednesday... Well, their last game, they won at home against Cardiff City. Yeah, they won 2-1, but I think they were better than that. Having I mean, said that, I think they'll probably just get a draw here. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Ball on the centre spot, and that tingle of excitement that comes with the FA Cup. It is special, and every player want to get an early touch, settle themselves down. On the attack here. On you go, says the referee to Sunderland. And they're trying to dispossess him. And that's good support. Guiding it through. Just the keeper to beat. Forward save for the goalkeeper. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Boy. Liam Palmer put into the middle. Defended well. This is a message for Here's all McNair. the supporters. Can you please remain seated? After Anticipated the, the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Thank you. Liam Palmer. And Jones. Good defending. Lee Catamar. Sheffield Wednesday will be hoping for victory today. It certainly won't be straightforward for them, though. Come away with the ball cleaning. Great tackle. Hooper. Boyd. Past his man. Oh, just too high. Yeah. Couldn't quite get over the ball, but decent effort. The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They're playing pretty well. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Going for goal! That is a supreme save at full stretch. Sheffield Wednesday have a corner.
In goes the corner. Tried to keep it down, but couldn't quite manage it. I oh, thought he was going to score there. I thought he should have scored. The manager just hoping that that miss is not going to come back to haunt them. They are creating chances, but that was a costly miss. Sunderland wondering whether they can go on and score from here. Gets his cross in. Jones. Fox. Taking on the defenders. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. They've lost the ball, and the counter-attack could be there. Oh, what an opportunity that was wasted with that counter-attack. Fox. Alman Abdi. Now Jones. They want to use the full width of the pitch now, the team in possession all the time, against a dogged defensive unit that they're facing at the moment. Palmer. There's good progress with this attack. George Boyd. To Jones. Liam Palmer. Alman Abdi. That's a good block. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. Getting forward well as a team now. Now Paddy McNair. to be a real miscue here <laughs> Liam Palmer Alman Abdi Could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Into the attacking third. Excellent vision. We have got confirmation that the deal has gone through and Atletico Madrid have got their new signing. Well, he'll certainly be happy with it. And I think maybe the buying club will too, because £40 million... Around that figure, anyway, seems uh, a reasonable price for somebody of his quality. Two minutes of added time. Two more minutes to play of added time. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Well, that is half time, and the score is nil nil here. There's no question here that we're going to have extreme emotions at the end of the game. But at half-time, when one team's got to go through, at half-time we're level. Yeah, it's been a little bit cat and mouse in the first half, Martin, but uh, in the second, I think we'll see one or two more chances being taken. Here we go for the second half of this... Emirates FA Cup tie. Yeah, the first half wasn't bad. Hoping for more of the same here. Here's a chance to attack. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Looking a problem until the clearance was made. Just the keeper to beat. That's out of danger there with that clearance. Now Paddy McNair. That's a fine tackle. 
Now Jones. Magidi. Can he deal with it here? That's a turnover of possession here. Some potential in this move. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Alman Abdi. Striding forward, purposefully. Wonderful chance! Well, they've got a corner out of that, a bit lucky, it was deflected. Well, that's what substitutes are for, to be used. And we've got one coming on now. Swung in from the corner. Nodded back across goal. Fox. To Jones. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Here's a chance. Keeper might be needed again. He didn't hang on to the ball. Just looking at Sunderland, what about the next game, Alan? They're playing Birmingham City in their next... Gonna try his luck! That's a great finish for the first goal of the day. And he has put that where it's impossible for the goalkeeper to reach it, right up into the top corner. Yeah, a couple of keepers wouldn't have got a hand on that. And here is another angle on that goal. Showing his frustrations, the manager, I'm sure he'd love to be out there playing himself, but he can't, and his team are losing now. So Sunderland have the lead. George Boyd really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Kick given. Substitution now. And might use up a bit of time here as well for the team that want to hang on to this lead. Oviedo. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. And that's possession squandered by Magidi. In with a chance. Good block. And they've cut it out. Oh, that's good defending. Out of harm's way, out for a... Th Throw. Substitution for Sheffield Wednesday. Activity on the bench for the losing team. The substitute getting ready to come on. To be replaced by number 20, Adam Rich. George Boyd. Jones. Oh, he's going to shoot from here. He got in the way. Proper tackle, that. And there was danger, but he's cleared it. He could lay it off to the supporting player. He's got his shot off now. 
is McGeady. McGeady. And in the shot, go! Oh, they've got their equaliser. That's the very least they deserve from this game. Time ticking away from them. But they've found a way, they've dominated the play, they've had so much of the ball. But the opposition have been defending gallantly, but that resistance has finally been broken. So, away we go at one all. Sheffield Wednesday goal, number O'Shea. 17, Connick. Oviedo. And it takes a nick off the player, out for a throw. Just a change now. He's bringing on a new player. Now with John O'Shea. Plan to defend hasn't worked for Sunderland. Risky tactic this. Having conceded, trying to defend on mass. Now he's trying to lurch onto the front foot and really take the game to the opposition. And that is always a, a risk of conceding again. And the game could be beyond them if that happens. Well, the ball's been deflected out, so it'll be a throw in. George Boyd. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the Now match. Joe. Number 16. On Ryan the attack here. Palmer. A timely challenge. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Kone, here's McGeady, Lee Catamon, saw the goal and went for it, out in front of goal, and it's ended in a draw as the final whistle goes. Well, the team that's been on the receiving end for most of this match will be happy with the draw. The other side will be really frustrated. Yeah, they will be, actually. They'll feel that they should have won this match the way that they did create a few more chances, tested that keeper a little more. Well, here's one of the better performers today, Alan. What did you make of him? That was an important equalising goal. Didn't have a whole host of chances, but certainly put that one away well. Looking at Sunderland, what about the next game, Alan? They're playing Birmingham. Gonna try his luck. That's a great finish for the first goal of the day.